The War of Art is the 15th episode of the 25th season of The Simpsons, directed by Stephen Dean Moore, and I really enjoyed this one. I really liked this one a lot. It starts off with Lisa getting a guinea pig. Whether or not this guinea pig will ever be mentioned again, I've got no idea, but she gets this little guinea pig called Pokey, and the guinea pig gets out, uh, out of its little playpen, and goes into the walls and destroys the boat picture. And I did wonder what that means for the future of the boat picture, but I'll talk about that with the spoiler warning. But I'm sure there was an episode, I was going to say not that long ago, but I watch about four episodes a day, so it might have been a few seasons ago, where the boat picture was destroyed and they had a cupboard full of replicas. So this episode could have been completely different if they'd just remembered that they have a cupboard full of them. But nevertheless, they decide to go to a garage sale or a yard sale to find a new piece of art for the wall. And they find this painting. I think they paid like $20 or something from uh, Kirk Van Houten. And when they take the frame off, they find a signature. And they realise that this artist is quite famous. And this painting might be worth a lot of money. And... After that, it got really interesting. I don't want to say too much more about it, but a lot of it is initially about if they sold it, however much they'd get for it, would they split it or should they split it? And I thought it raised a really interesting question. And I I genuinely, I, I feel like they wouldn't have to split it. But morally, I don't know if I could sit on that cash. If they bought it from some random yard sale, somebody they'd never see again, it's different. But let's say they sold this. Would they be able to sit on that money knowing they bought that from their friend? I personally wouldn't. If I bought something from a friend and found out it was worth a lot, I'd, I'd have to tell them or split the money. I don't know. And, and this is certainly what Marge was saying, whereas Homer was saying, we bought it, it's ours, we can do what we want with it. And that includes selling it and keeping the money for ourselves, which is right, it, it is. But... I feel like morally, I don't know, is is it morally or immoral to sell something for a lot of money that your friend gave you for ne- next to nothing? I don't even think it is morally. It's morally corrupt. I just think it would really plague my conscience. But the episode plays with this for quite a while and it's unclear where exactly it's going. And there are at least two times in this episode where I was shocked at what happened. And maybe even three times. It's a very unpredictable episode. It's very well written. It is gripping. It's compelling. It's exciting. As a fan of art in general, I I, I loved that concept and the various different queries that it raised. And also there's a quote that I love, but it is a spoiler. So I will save that for just now. But I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I loved, I loved all of it. I loved everything about it. And I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's maybe my favourite from season 25 so far. Definitely high up there. Definitely enjoyed it. So, spoilers from now. A few spoiler thoughts for things that happen towards the end. The first is that I'm glad they addressed the boat painting and, you know, how that came back because obviously it's going to be on the wall in future episodes. But as I said, I'm sure there was an episode at some point before this where something happened to the boat painting and I think Marge opened a cupboard and there was just a box full of these boat paintings. I might be misremembering it, but I don't think I am. But either way, I'm glad we had a reason for it coming back. And then the quote. So the quote that I loved is from the art forger. And the quote is, you only cared about that painting when you thought it was created by someone famous. And this, for me as as an artist, as a writer, and also as a fan of art of many kinds, whether that's films or fine art, TV shows, whatever, um, I do feel that a lot of people will like something because of the name attached to it. Now, really, if somebody likes something at all, that's brilliant. But it also means that on the flip side, people are less likely to pay attention to something if there's not a name attached to it. And that's... That's actually really damaging to artists because everybody who was famous was a nobody at one point. But there are certain people, indeed a certain, (laughs) certainly in in certain uh, circles, that for example, there are people who will only read books by the bestseller authors of the 21st century. There are people who will only watch blockbuster films, which is fine, but not if they're unwilling to even look at 
the works of unknowns or even just lesser knowns. Um, not because they don't have the time or they're not interested in that style, but quite simply because they think they're worthless, because they're not the best of the best. And that's so damaging because those people at the top, most of them didn't go from zero to a hundred overnight. Some do, you know, a couple of people every now and then will, you know, have a debut novel that outranks everything or they'll have a directorial debut be the you know the, the most viewed film of the year it rarely happens it can do but the point is just because somebody is not as well known or because you don't know the name behind it or you don't know the story behind it it doesn't mean you can't appreciate it and this is what the artist was trying to say lisa didn't care about the painting until she knew it was by somebody famous not necessarily because it was worth money i think lisa is definitely one to like the highbrow art and nothing else and this is exactly what we get in this quote I think is beautiful it's fine if you only like those things for a reason for you know because maybe other things are not to your taste or not your genre but if you only like highbrow or famous art because it's famous you're missing out on a whole world of beauty and I love that the episode does a fantastic job of showing that. That's not to say art forgery is okay. <laughs> I should point that out. I'm not saying that people should condone art forgery because art is art regardless of who did it. Of course not. But I just thought it was a beautiful message. And, and I really liked it. The painting was beautiful as well. We never really got to see it properly. As much as I think we could have done. But I liked it. I thought it was quite nice. Um... And a really lovely episode, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Interesting, or uh, keen to see if we, you know, if we ever see that guinea pig again. Or indeed, if uh, it'll survive living in a house with a dog and a cat and a Bart. We'll see. But certainly this one for me uh, is one of the best episodes of the 25th season so far.